Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome cardboard spinning top. Check out this video, starting with the supplies that you'll need to get started today. So now we have a circle cut out. And what you're going to do is crease the center very gently. Don't want to crease the whole thing. Just kind of pinch the middle. So you find where the center is. Fold it in half. Only press on the middle. Take your coin. Kind of measure how wide it is that you don't cut this slit too big. You measure straight down to the other side. Always try to make it a little smaller because you can always cut it larger. But making it smaller afterwards is not going to be easy. Fold this up again and cut a tiny slit and I'm going to test my coin. This is just a nickel. I found it in the laundry room. Ooh, that looks pretty good. This is going to be the top, so let's test it out. Ooh, nice. Now I removed the coin, try to flatten this out a little, and I'm going to sketch out and then add a design to this so that it will have some sort of artistic representation. You can really do a design of anything. I was thinking something sort of hypno because it's gonna swirl, be almost like a little illusion. And like I posted earlier, you can use paint, acrylic paint if you have it, or you can use markers, or if you have paint markers and you're allowed to use them, they are also really fun, a little messy. It works best if you have a box that has white on the back, but if you don't, you can also take any box. If it's cardboard colored, you can color on that, or you could cut out a second circle out of white paper and glue it on and have a white surface or paint it white, let that dry and add your design on top of that. So let's see how the design turns out. Alright, so we are sketched out and I have my area set up, a little recycled jar of water, a little paintbrush, paper towel, I have some acrylic paint that was left over from a different project, and one paint marker, I don't know if we're going to use that or not, we'll see. And then instead of a paint palette, I'm just going to recycle part of the box that I'm using because you really only need a little bit of paint for a project this size. Kids usually squirt a lot of paint and you really don't need that much. So just take a little, you can always pour out more if you're painting. If you're coloring with marker, you're gonna to wanna to put something underneath. Actually, I should do that anyway, and I will. So let's check out the process.
Whoa, this looks pretty cool. I'm going to let it dry for a little and then we'll test it out. All right, I think this is pretty much dry. I let it dry for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take my coin and test it out. Really excited. Three, two, Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Let's try that in slow-mo. Pretty fun. I'm gonna go play with this for a couple hours. See you guys later. Bye.